Thank you, Interest 47 here. Welcome back. Oh no, what am I doing? Why did I go up there? I'm an idiot. <sighs> Sorry guys, I didn't mean to do that. She's going right back in. Right back in. Damn it. Hold on, I'm going to go through that whole process again. No, okay. See, this is what we have with the card for. Just it in there. Mercedes Colomar, client number 9308, blah, blah, blah. Died of chicken pox, time of death, yada, yada, yada. Aha, positive attributes. Died of chicken pox. Volunteer time reading stories to dying children. That's good. That's really good. I think you're it, Mercedes Colomar. I think you're the one for me. Very good. Pilates, are you loco? What got into you? That was a company car. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and it's even better company now. I'm in. <laughs> Woohoo. Dias. You're not the nurse? No. You're not here to give me my medication? No, but I am here to ease your pain. Guess they couldn't save me, huh? No, but there's still a chance you could save me. That's a lot of responsibility, Mr. Calaveda. What makes you think I've been all that good? <clears throat> Miss Colomar. Meche, please. Meche. I can see it Meche. in your face and in your file here, where it says you're entitled to a first-class ticket to... Nowhere. What? Did I do something wrong? Not according to your bio. It was spotless. At least the part I read was. I'm not sure I like the implication, Mr. Calavera. Hmm. Oh no. Anything about your past Anything you haven't told me? Anything about your past you haven't told me? Quite a bit, considering I've told you nothing. Did you, did you kill much did when you, you were alive? Did you kill much when you were alive? Very little. Never killed anybody. killed anybody? I have to confess, I never killed anybody. Not even a Not teensy, even a bit, teensy of killing. bit of killing? Maybe I just wasn't trying hard enough. <laughs> you mean animals? animals? Oh no, I love animals. Once, when I was volunteering at an animal shelter, I... Just stop right there. Ever cheated on your taxes? I've never paid taxes in my life. Aha. Uh -huh. I've never made enough money to be taxed. You know, it's mostly been all volunteer work. Uh-huh. Ever husband. cheated on your husband? Mr. Calaveda, there's no ring on my finger. There's no skin on it either. I guess you'll just have to trust me then. Get you some... Uh... Litter? Oh, Manny. Is that the best you can do? Were you a big shoplifter? shoplifter? Well, they accused me of it once. Really? But it wasn't my fault. That puppy followed me out of the store. Oh. <laughs> uh, Work me, Mechi. Give me some dirt. Well, I could do something bad right now if that would help. Wouldn't count. Sorry. I give up. Don't say that, Manny. Yeah, <laughs> those are funny. Excuse me, but I gotta go straighten this but mess out. But I have out. to go straighten this mess out. Sorry to be so much trouble, Mr. Calavera. It's no trouble, but please, call me Manny. All right. I'm All sorry right. I let you down, Manny. Can I go in here yet? Do Domino's door is locked. Okay. Not a problem. Hey, Funny Bones! In my office! Now! You vandalized hey, company property in order to obtain secret information so you could take your illegally modified company car and your unregistered driver and run Domino here off the road! All in order to steal a client from her legitimate agent! There's nothing legitimate about this place. You give all the good points <laughs> to Domino. Manny, now I'm embarrassed for you. 
You've embarrassed the whole office. I'm going to call the woman in here so you can apologize to her yourself. Ava, send in Ms. Colomar, please. She left about 15 minutes ago, sir. She said she had a long walk ahead of her and she wanted to get started. Walking? She had a ticket on the number nine! Why does she think she has to walk? That's the best package I could find for her. <laughs> now you see why I give all the good <laughs> clients the domino! That woman was a saint and a no. shoe in for a double end ticket that she's not going to get because you just couldn't find it. And now, because of your little stunt, she's out there on her own, walking by herself through the petrified forest, facing the demons of the underworld alone and unprotected. This is her reward <laughs> after a lifetime of hardship and public service. Her destiny stolen by some overreaching salesman looking for a fat commission he didn't deserve. Get in there and stay uh, tell it'll the be boys fun. downtown. Tell us what they want done with you. Someone's gonna take the fall for this Calavera, and it ain't gonna be me. All right, I'm locked in here. Uh, Doesn't open. Ooh, ick! It came out like soft serve ice cream, but judging by the smell, I think it's auto body filler. Body filler, right? Hello? Hey, is anybody out there? Luke? So, Manuel, have you thought about what you have done? I'm thinking about getting out and getting even, that's it. I'm thinking about getting out and getting even, that's it. The only way out, Manuel, is to be taken back in. If you are truly still loyal to this company, declare it loudly. The management might hear and stick you right back in their fold. Loyalty, uh... The DOD runs a crooked game, and I intend to prove it. The that. DOD runs a crooked game, and I intend to prove it. You would do that? That could cause this agency a lot of trouble. I'm gonna blow, I'm gonna blow the place. lid off this place. Young man, you are an enemy of the Department of Death. Welcome to the club. Salvador Limones <laughs> and guest. Where are you taking me? To the headquarters of the LSA. LSA? The Lost Souls Alliance. We're a small group. Lost Manuel. Souls. We're always oh, looking for new souls. We're gonna kill some what, folks. Exactly? We need help in our intelligence unit. You know Eva, of course. Manny? I was once a reaper like yourself, Manuel. But I uncovered a web of corruption in our beloved Department of Death. I have <clears> reason <throat> to believe that the Bureau of Acquisitions is cheating very souls it was chartered to serve. I think someone mm -hmm. is robbing these poor, naive souls of their rightful destinies, leaving them no option but to march on a treacherous trail of tears, unprotected and alone, like babies, Manuel, like babies. What's your evidence? That's where you come in, Manuel. Or should I call you Agent Calavera? Manny so Agent Calavera. I'm not looking to join any military organization, Sal. I just want my job back so I can work off my time and get out of this dump. Out of well, this dump. you won't even be able to get out of this city without my help. Which means, of course, you won't be able to find that woman and you'll never get your job back. When you're ready to join the cause, Manuel, come talk to me. We might be of some use to each other. Oh, I'm down. Let's do it. Oh no, no, no. I'm outside. You're crazy. So you're not really a secretary. I'm a spy, Manny. Well, that's the last time we use that temp agency. <laughs> Any messages, Any messages for, me? for me? Yes. Join or die. But I'm already. Again. You gotta get me out of here. They're gonna sprout me. Ava, you gotta get me out of town. They're gonna sprout me. You can't leave, Manny. We need access to the DOD computer sprout network if we're ever this, gonna find out what's going actually, on. And we can't oh, access really without clever. a salesman like you. Uh, the computer IDs you when you log on. How does it do that? Fingerprints? I don't have any. Your teeth, that Manny. With. Haven't you ever noticed your computer scanning your teeth when you log on? I thought that was just a power search. We need your teeth, Manny. We can't let you go. Sorry. Okay, I'll deal with that. Um, the game... Of course, in this game, you play as dead people. Everyone's dead. So, to sprout you, and we'll see some examples of this later on. 
they shoot you with, with like, uh, fertilizer or something, and plants grow all over you, and you die. <laughs> it's pretty crafty. I like it a lot. I want to even spy. spy. Salvador recruited me about a year ago. I couldn't resist him. He's just so noble. We working on there? Working on there. I'm trying to get this radio working so we can use it in the field, but it looks pretty hopeless. <clears throat> Salvador's right. We need good old-fashioned homing pigeons to communicate with our field agents. You have field agents? No, it's just Sal and me yeah. right now. But someday, Manny. Okay. Doesn't Kapal wonder? Don and Domino are both locked up in Don's office with some bigwig from downtown, mm -hmm. some fatty in a fez. Hmm. Who is that fat man? I wonder. So. You won't. Sorry, I'll help you out, but think it over. Okay. Uh, okay, okay, I mean, we'll what do I have to do? I'm going to build an underground army of souls to fight the injustice I have seen in El Mar. Communication will become vital. Right. So we'll need messengers. We can so we need to get. You want me to be your messenger? No, Manuel. Our numbers are small and our eight history shows only one messenger to be of you. Carry your pigeons. Carry your pigeons. Okay, if I grab some pigeons off if the I roof. If I grab some you pigeons off the roof, will you let me go? No. I need to raise them from birth, Agent Calavera. I need you to bring me their eggs. Okay. You're, You're keeping me, here, me you here because you need the eggs? Why are you still here, Calavera? Go get me an Air Force before it hatches. I'm okay. Off. Farewell, Agent Calavera. Viva la revolución! Viva la revolución! It won't budge. It opens for mm. members of the LSA only. That's fair. All right. We are out of time. So, until next time, Bumblebee Tuna. <laughs>